Well, Australia is in our deepest economic recession in a century, and the federal government is going to need to make some big decisions about how we create jobs and get out of this recession. Since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, Labor has been asking the government to spend money on social housing. Social housing creates jobs, construction jobs, but it also gives people what they fundamentally need, and that is a safe home. Social housing is in desperate need in places in far north Queensland. In Cairns, our social housing waitlist is about 2,000. In remote communities, we have up to 28, 30 people living in a house. In the community that I'm in right now, Yarrabah, 700 people are waiting for houses. The government has a job to do. Right now, the federal government's actually planning on taking support away from the economy. They're cutting JobKeeper, they're cutting job seeker, and they're going to make it harder for people to get out of this recession. We need a government that's prepared to back jobs and taking support away is not how it's gonna be done. We need a government that's prepared to take on the big opportunities that this pandemic has shown us. When the GFC hit, Labor did just this. We invested in social housing projects, not just to build social housing, but also to repair houses for thousands of Australians that rely on social housing to put a roof over their head. We can create jobs right now in remote communities, in regional towns, if we invest in building new social houses and repairing the social houses that we have but the government needs to make sure that this budget includes social housing, because if it doesn't, we're going to leave behind a generation of people and coronavirus has shown us that what we need more than ever are safe homes for people to live in.